Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Stonecipher, Clinical Associate Professor at the University of North Carolina in Ophthalmology. And primarily what I want to talk about today is the eye light treatment. We've had the opportunity to use this machine now for about two months, and we're comparing it head to head for various treatments for my bumpy brain disease. And so far, we've been very impressed with the results. We've had a lot of patients that have unsolicited come back to us, hey, this is the best thing that I've had. When we look at the statistical significance, we're seeing both improvements in tear breakup time, as well as ocular surface disease index, as well as I'm going to show you basically how we run a patient through this process. But so far, we've been very happy with the early clinical results. Thank you very much. Um, this is next a, a 26 year old patient who was on Accutane previously and you can see the display of abnormal structure of her glands uh, which is consistent with her dry eye disease. We also like to do a tear breakup time. Uh, anything less than seven seconds is considered abnormal uh, for us. We'll typically as well do a topography on these patients because we can look at the ring structure at eye infinite any, any uh, uh, abnormalities there. And then of course, uh, we look at uh, various staining patterns like fluorescein and uh, lysamine green. The eye light itself is pretty explanatory and easy to use. It has uh, various screens that we can look at, uh, whether it's the eyelid stimulation or my bombing gland function of the unit. So primarily we scroll through these various screens and primarily come up with a easy to use, easy to treat uh, piece of equipment. And primarily, uh, you can see the various diagnostic positions for this unit. Uh, we do first the IPL on the patient, and then we follow up the IPL with the uh, uh, thermal mask. And then the thermal mask is uh, used for a total of 15 minutes. Now, probably the most controversial issue is whether you squeeze or, or uh, express uh, from these glands. Post-procedure, many of the surgeons aren't, uh, but some of the surgeons are, and it kind of really depends on the uh, severity of the disease process as well.